and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for yet more of your daily gaming news and myself and Marta. Today is of course the 8th of October and I have some rather interesting news for you today as Mad Cats has confirmed the launch details and price for its upcoming Mojo Android Micro Console and it will be releasing in both the US and the UK on December 10th and will be priced at £219.99 or €249.99 which would be roughly $353 at the time of recording and as well as this they have also given a little bit of information regarding the specifications. Now what's rather interesting before we get into the specifications is that this is more than twice the cost of its closest competitor which is the Oya but Mad Cats are claiming that the console does offer enough advantages to justify the extra expense. The system will have a 1.8 GHz Tegra 4 processor, 16 gigs of internal storage and 2 GB of RAM. And this is in comparison to the Oya which has a 1.7 GHz Nvidia Tegra 3, 8 GB internal storage and 1 GB of RAM. Now unlike the Oya which pretty much makes you buy games from their own store. Mancats is also claiming that the Mojo has quote no walled garden and no set store to buy from and the console will come with both Google Play and Nvidia Tegra Zone apps pre-installed and is registered as a standard Android device which by the way will be running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean and if you've already purchased numerous apps on these stores you can simply log in with your existing details and re-download them without the need for a second purchase which is a rather nice uh, feature indeed. Now the Mojo will not have a touch screen meaning that quite a few games will not be natively compatible however the Mercury console does support mouse control and it can basically you can attempt to control a mouse cursor with its analog sticks so essentially you can have a mouse or controller depending on your personal preference but there will be no touch screen with this Mad Cat's micro console console. So this is rather interesting, of course, this comes quite a little bit after the release of both the PS4 and the Xbox One in the US and the UK. Obviously it's not that far past the UK release, but it is a good few weeks in in front of the releases in the US and of course as I said previously it is a hundred more expensive than the Oya and it does have a increase in power but is it enough to justify the price? Well that's really down to you. This does sound like it has some rather nice functionality the fact that you can just re-download, re-download excuse me, apps that you already own is an interesting feature however with the next generation consoles having just come out I don't think that the market for a micro console that carries such a hefty price tag is really going to be that large. It'd be interesting to see what this means for the Oya however of course this thing isn't really going to be a rival to the PS4 or the Xbox One by any stretch of the imagination however it may bring some trouble to the land of the Oya and it'd be interesting to see how this console actually fares and how it actually matches up to the Oya in the long run in terms of sales and just a general PR and that sort of thing. The Oya has not had a very smooth run lately with all this controversy surrounding the, its free the games fund and of course its Kickstarter and the console itself. So it'd be interesting to see what happens in the near future. I'll definitely be keeping my eyes on this one and seeing if any interesting developments come out of it. Anyway, that has been done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.